Welcome to Live Doctors, everyone. This is Dr. Andrew David Schiller. We're talking about multiple sclerosis today. We have a very special guest, Dr. Mark Freeman. He is the director of the Multiple Sclerosis Research and Clinical Unit at Ottawa Hospital. He's also professor of medicine at Ottawa University. That's University of Ottawa, excuse me. He's also a senior scientist at the Ottawa Hospital uh, Clinical Research Unit Institute. Uh, he's had more than 250 publications, articles, book chapters, uh, presentations, etc., in the field of neuroscience, I mean, multiple sclerosis research. So he's really an expert internationally in multiple sclerosis. It's a pleasure to have him here with us today. So please, here we are, Dr. Freeman. Thanks for coming and being with us. Thanks, David. So we're going to be talking about multiple sclerosis, and to our lay audience at home, uh, tell us a little bit, what is multiple sclerosis and what causes it? <laughs> the, the, the magic question. Uh, well, you know, this is a disease that was described uh, probably 150 years ago when they first saw the pathology, uh, brought to light really by a French neurologist, uh, Charcot, who uh, uh, really outlines the pathology and noticed all these scars, the sclerose en black, these scars in the nervous system. And that's how it got its name. Uh, and then over the years, people started recognizing the symptoms of multiple sclerosis, uh, which are so varied and, and different in almost everyone. So although we have thousands of patients that we look after with MS, uh, if people ask me, what sort of patients do you have? And I say, well, I have, if I have 5,000 patients, I have 5,000 different MS cases because it's so unique. Everyone has their own sort of twist to the disease. Uh, neurologists being what we are, we tend to describe things over years, uh, the pattern of, of how they behave, and so th there's been certain courses that have been defined, such as relapsing, remitting, or progressive, and, uh, and patients always ask me, what kind do I have? And I say, well, you know, to be honest, if I took a piece of your tissue and showed it to a pathologist, they wouldn't be able to tell me what kind of course you had. And, and if we take the pictures of your brain by MRI and I showed it to the, the world's expert neuroradiologist in MS and said, what kind of course is this? No clue. So the pathology is sort of the same uh, and the pattern of expression is unique. What causes it is really an enigma. And I think the, the story is really true for all autoimmune disease. There's the, the usual story that uh, genes sort of load the gun, so to speak, uh, and, and there are certain genetic makeups that are more prone to developing autoimmune disease. Uh, people know other autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, for instance, or lupus, or even thyroid disease, juvenile diabetes, the list goes on. Ba basically, every organ system has an autoimmune disease associated with it. Uh, so what is that? That's, your immune system is put on board to protect you. Uh, and, and, and actually has three major functions. Obviously, the, the, the army is there to defend you against invasion from without, so uh, or, you know, organisms, uh, infections and such, uh, from invasion within, transformation, cancer, and the like. And, and we live with many viruses, and so viruses that normally are dormant within us and then decide not to be, like herpes, uh, they'll take care of that. And then the one... Thing that everyone forgets about. The immune system is there to repair. And without it, you'll never heal. You know, when you cut yourself, first thing that happens, it gets inflamed, right? So your immune system is there to defend you and to repair you. Uh, but sometimes it makes a mistake. Uh, exactly what the mistake is in MS or, or Crohn's disease or any of the autoimmune diseases I've known, it's, it's, it's thought to be a trigger, usually implicated our viruses. And then somehow the immune system thinks it's going after the enemy, but recognizes maybe something that's similar on, uh, in the case of multiple sclerosis, the myelin, the insulation of the wires in the central nervous system. And it trips up thinking it's attacking uh, uh, an invader, but in fact the little component of myelin is natural. And as soon as the immune system is triggered to do something, it never stops. It's, it's, it's like, you know, one, one way ticket. It's, it's got a mission and the mission is to wipe out the myelin. And so this becomes a chronic disease. Mm 